journalist, writer, and researcher, dear Orsola Casan Grande. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Adam. It's a Thank pleasure. You. Thanks. So let's start with the latest developments. What do you consider to be the significance of the HDP in Turkey? The HDP also is under attack on various fronts. Uh, why do you think is this a uh, head rate? Well, I think, first of all, the, I want to express my condolences uh, to the family of Denis uh, Poiras, who, who was killed uh, yesterday in the attack by a fascist tag on the HDP Izmir office. And um, I think, yes, uh, you are right, uh, the HDP is under attack on all uh, fronts, on several fronts, and uh, and at the same time. Why? Because uh, the HDP represents a way out for Turkey and for the peoples, all the peoples of Turkey, a way out from a dictatorial and dictatorship regime, uh, which is uh, Erdogan regime, and it's... Um, is allies um, the MHP and uh, why a way out because the the proposal of the of the HDP put forward by the HDP is a, is a strong proposal of uh, uh, coexistence and of uh, uh, peoples living together and of uh, making differences a, a resource instead of uh, um, a a way to uh, to divide and to and co and to confront uh, each other. So the HDP represented threats for the um, for the actual regime, and indeed not just for the Erdogan re regime. It represents a threat for all uh, of those uh, hyper nationalist. Uh, fascistic uh, uh, governments uh, or right-wing governments we have uh, not just in Turkey and in the Middle East but unfortunately um, pushing through uh, around Europe as well and uh, let's just remind me because I am in the Basque country that in the Spanish state uh, the right-wing uh, uh, box right wing party is pushing and it's uh, trying to get consensus precisely on uh, on um, on hatred of differences. So what the HDP is making is uh, uh, putting forward differences as uh, as a resource instead of as uh, as uh, a danger. And this is uh, what uh, what the what the AKP is uh, is afraid of. On the other hand, um, as we have seen yesterday uh, with the atrocious uh, attack on the HD on the HDP uh, offices in Izmir and the brutal killing uh, of the uh, Denis uh, Denis Poiras is that uh, women are the other uh, focus in the um, in the attacks by the by the Erdogan government and women because women with within the HDP and in more in general within uh, the Kurdish movement uh, represents again a a vanguard, a way forward and a way out from uh, the patriarchal society we are all living living in. So there is a there is a battle going on on uh, on women's bodies, on women's um, right uh, to self determination and to decide uh, about themselves. Thank you. Um, Turkey has launched a comparative war on Kurds. Uh, Turkey also continues making treats about invading further into the Kurdish majority areas of North and East Syria. What do you think is the aim of the Turkish government's domestic and foreign policy in the region? Very short, very briefly. Yes, uh, unfortunately, the, the all front war is not uh, only limited to Turkey uh, and uh, you know and to Bakur, North Kurdistan, but uh, but also uh, to to the neighboring country, in particular countries, in particularly South um, South Kurdistan uh, or North Iraq and um, and Rojava, North and Eastern Federation in Syria. And uh, why? Because uh, again, the the AKP government is in a in a very difficult uh, position and situation internally, and uh, it has uh, it is arriving to the end of its uh, long uh, ruling, and it doesn't uh, and it doesn't want to accept this. So, unfortunately, this uh, uh, translate into a 
comprehensive attacks on on Kurds. But uh, I will say not just on Kurds, because as we've seen in Rojava, uh, who are being attacked are Kurds, but also Armenian, Assyrian, the peoples, the diversity uh, of the of the peoples uh, which we see in in Rojava and which uh, have found in the autonomous administration there um, a representation, a true representation, a new way of making politics, a new governance of their uh, region uh, and uh, cities. As to uh, South Kurdistan, northern Iraq, unfortunately, the expansionistic. Uh, um, dimension and desires of the Turkish uh, uh, government are known and are not new. Uh, what is uh, what is appalling uh, is the, the backing that Turkey is getting from the international um, international community. No, and I'm not talking about the people, of course, uh, of Europe, but uh, yes, the institution. Uh, there is a very shy, uh, there are very shy protests against the expansionist uh, policy and politics of Turkey and we see as recent as three days ago at the NATO summit uh, the very very shy um, position of, uh, of NATO members so unfortunately uh, this is a big uh, this is a big uh, obstacle and it and it's a big concern um, and I think the the international community should uh, and people should pressure on yeah. their institution and on their government to uh, that, that was uh, actually definitely your other question how do you think international organizations and specifically the international community can act? to pressure on their governments and support the HTP? Well, I think it's very important that, for example, despite all the obstacles, the uh, international uh, peace delegation has uh, been able, or at least part of it, has been able to reach South Kurdistan uh, in the past few days. I think it's appalling and I never heard of that a government uh, actually prevent its own citizen, and I'm referring to Germany, prevent its own citizen from leaving the country to go to another country. I think this is a first. And, um, you know, when you are uh, when you are rounded out a persona non grata decision, this is normally, this normally Normally comes from the country you are going to visit, not from your own country. So it's uh, it's uh, really appalling. But what can uh, uh, the international uh, community do? I think we have uh, we all have an obligation towards uh, um, our Kurdish friends, which is uh, to give back to them at least part of what they have given us all uh, these years. Uh, I think we we have a political, um, ethical, and uh, really obligation towards them and what i will uh, think it will be would be interesting and what i would like to see is that uh, you know somehow to bring kurdistan in in europe and uh, i like to 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 remind just to finish that uh, um, what president ojalan uh, uh, meant to do when he, he was uh, when he traveled to 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 Italy and to Europe was precisely bringing the Kurdish question uh, in uh, in the European in the in the heart of 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 Europe. I, well, I think this is still stand, and this is what uh, uh, European uh, people, friends, uh, and governments should do. Uh, friendly governments, at least, uh, that is, you know, bringing the European. The, the Kurdish question into the European agenda uh, because uh, Kurdistan is not just some land uh, um, far away. It is very close. It is here. It is in Europe. And uh, and we have a duty uh, and a responsibility to defend Kurds. A new initiative also, the Defend Kurdistan, has been launched. Uh, could you please give us some more information on that very short, very briefly? Yeah, I think Defend Kurdistan is a very important initiative because it goes on the lines that I was saying uh, earlier on, uh, that is uh, to uh, reclaim 
Kurdistan and claim Kurdistan as uh, part of uh, of us, of our struggle as well, us as European, I mean. And I think that uh, uh, what have been uh, done in uh, by the by the international peace delegation in South Kurdistan, despite all obstacles, uh, is very important. It is, I think, that it has also shown the extent uh, of hatred and um, and the anger uh, that there is toward Kurds. So uh, it also means that this is the right way to go about. So we should put more pressure on our governments uh, and of uh, our institution uh, to act uh, and to stand by by Kurds and uh, and Kurdistan. Dear Orsola uh, Hassan Grande, uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you for your valuable comments today. Thank you, Eren. Thank you. Thanks.